We're live. Nice. Hey, what's up, all? How's it going? And welcome to Unleashing, episode 53. Welcome back. Our first ever on Facebook Live. We have, well, it says 10th broadcast, but this is our first Unleashing one. So, so yeah, we, we decided to switch it up a little bit. I know it looks a little weird on the screen. I've got to play around with it, but I kind of just came up with this idea tonight to uh, show it off. So if this is your first stream uh, or first time ever, you know, seeing us or knowing who we are, of course, my name is Jamie. And then on the other side of the video, or if you listen to the audio, we've got the fabulous Ryan. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm kidding. That's what they call me. The fabulous, fabulous Ryan. Oh, stop. Here he comes again. <laughs> Stop it. Um, anyways, today's topic is going to be all about Star Wars. But of course, like we like to start out every single one, hashtag nerd life. What's been going on this week, Ryan? What, uh, what nerdy goodness have you gotten into? Or anything... Hashtag nerd life like. <laughs> yeah, hashtag nerd life. Hashtag NCBD. A new comic book day today. One of the my favorite things about recording on Wednesday is we always pretty much get to talk about our pickups. So uh, not much for me as far as pickups this week. I picked up uh, Jean Grey number one, just dropped. Nice. So that was really nice. good from uh, Dennis Hopeless. I'm really liking it. You know, it's actually, surprisingly, this is Jean Grey's first ever solo adventure so uh and it's the uh teenage time displaced original five jean gray so it's been pretty good i i liked it i liked it and then of course i picked up x-men gold number three and uh batman um uh, batman 22 the button part three so sweet sweet yeah i should have um grabbed my stack of comics over there what i picked up uh we've already got people commenting and my buddy uh Ricky, a.k.a. Uh, wow, you see, he's on Facebook as Richard Cribbs. I've known him for quite a while now. He goes, so nerdy, I'm gay for Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your uh, your wife is uh, liking our video, too, so just so you know, that's going to be out there now. Nice. Anyways, um, yeah, comic book day. Very, very good day to uh, be a nerd on every single week. This week, actually, I finally got my pull box set up. So everything's nice. there. Um, nice. Of course, I got Batman 22, the uh, part three of the button, picked up. What else? I've got X-Men uh, Gold, number three. Right on. And then Iron Fist, number three. Oh, cool. And then, of course, I had to pick up because I'm curious about it and all the controversy. And I don't know if anyone's seen on the page that I put up there about the secret empire. So mm. issue one dropped this week. That's right. That came out. Yeah. And a lot of people were on there and people have been complaining like crazy. But the funny thing is I went into all seas and I'm like, I was crossing my fingers. They got my... Um, uh, everything all set set up for my pull box because I hear him talking about it and they go, yeah, we are currently sold out of it. I'm like, Oh shit. Are you kidding me? I'm like, I like, no. <laughs> yeah. That would suck. Yeah. So I went up there and luckily they pulled it, but, um, that's awesome. Got me, so I was like, sweet. Cool. Cool. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to dive into that. But I still got, what, seven other comics for the past two weeks that I haven't dove into. So <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Girlfriend's out right now. I've been playing a lot of video games this week. Right on. Uh, with uh, OMD. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Going to have a lot to talk about on the next episode of Blow On This. Yeah, exactly. Coming up this Friday. Right Tune on. Tune in. We might, uh, I might try and do Facebook if I can. <laughs> Very cool. So, thank you, Ricky, for sharing the video. Hopefully we get more views, get more people watching. Um, if you're tuning in, this is, of course, Unleashing. 
we've been talking about our nerdy week here. Uh, other than that, not much that's kind of been going on. I picked up um, in in uh, yeah. we had uh, what International Tabletop Day, uh, Day that we celebrated over the weekend, and uh, you and I played the Ticket to Ride Europe. Mm-hmm. And so I was telling my son about it, and he thought it would be really fun to play. And I was kind of telling him, well, it's you know, it's there's a lot of strategy involved. It's kind of for for older kids or you know adults and everything. We were at the store, and uh, they had nice. ticket to ride first journey, which is actually okay. for ages uh, six plus. So okay. it's like nice. it's like Monopoly. It's like the Monopoly <laughs> Junior of ticket to ride. So. We've actually already played. I picked it up on Sunday, and uh, we've played a couple of games already so far. It's pretty fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. You have to tell me how that works and how the difference is between that and the Ticket to Ride. Ricky, I see your comment, and definitely, uh, well, we're diving into Star Wars here in just a second, so uh, we'll we'll for sure answer that. So, um, yeah, I uh, let me know what the differences are because that it's such a fun game. I mean, I was able to get the girlfriend into playing it, so you know, definitely, it's one of those games a lot of people like. Whoa, well, you just changed the screen on your computer and you lit up blue, like on your oh, face. Oh, weird. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, for me, nothing else really. So, um, I guess should we move into the topic? Yeah, I think yeah. that's it. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking of buying a Retron. 3. Okay, yeah. So if anyone knows, uh, has any recommendations or anything for it, but I'm probably going to try to pick one up nice. this week because I did get my copy of uh, X-Men 2 The Clone Wars for Sega Genesis, which was like one of my favorite games growing up. So I'm really excited to play that with my kids. Okay, nice, nice. But I, I don't have a Sega, but I was like, well, I'm going to... I'll get the game first because I'll get either a Sega or a Retron or whatever, to play it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it's it's such a good system to get if you want to play the old school stuff. I mean, for sure, for sure. You can't you can't beat it. So um, it's it's been something that's been on my radar for quite a while, and I just haven't had, you know, really haven't. I got so much other shit. I just, yeah, <laughs> doesn't make sense. Uh, to, for me to pick it up right now. Plus, I have the older system sitting right there, the ones right. that I would use for it anyway. So, um, all right. Well, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. May the fourth be with you, and also with you. <laughs> oh Lord, <laughs> is that? Lord. Is that, I mean, that's how it goes, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Sure. <laughs> um nice there's my video um so yeah tomorrow's all about star wars i mean of course may the force be with you uh may the fourth be with you you know however it is let's uh let's dive into um ricky's comment or question here kind of because i think the main focus that we probably want to obviously talk about this episode is of course episode 28 no i'm just kidding heck yeah you can't know. wait <laughs> it's actually the prequel to the 12th trilogy that's the sequel of the original <laughs> and and it, it's a whole side story of how some odd reason luke and leia ended up sleeping together before um, they knew their brother and sister they got really weird no, I'm gross just <laughs> This ain't Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, so his comment is, uh, do you think Ray will be the last Jedi? And what is your take on the title and the trailer? So, mm-hmm. I mean, of course we dove quite a bit into it on Nerds, the, mm-hmm. what, two Nerds ago. I two think. Nerds ago, yeah. Yeah, I, we know. didn't really do a whole lot of speculating, though. I mean, really much really just kind of chimed in on on how we felt about the trailer itself and everything we don't really didn't um, speculate very much on what we saw in the trailer yeah that's true i mean 
I I watched it like five times, but I haven't watched it since. So. Oh yeah. Um. So, what what do you think? I mean, from the trailer, I mean, we did talk about it. We did. I did my speculation of Luke stating after the fact that there's going to be something he says. Mm-hmm. So. You know, it's it's not just uh, everyone thinks, oh, they're going to be killing off the Jedi. No way in hell they're killing off the Jedi. I'm sorry. I just don't see that happening. That uh, that would be a marketing nightmare. Yeah, I mean, it's I don't think so. Like, they're always going to sell Jedi stuff. Like, kids are always going to want to be Jedi. It's not like they're going to yeah. make this movie and then all the other movies are going to go away. Like, yeah. They'll always have it. You know, it's know. it's yeah. it's something... Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I kind of think you're right, you know, like, uh, there's more to that sentence. They edit it at that part where he says, you know, maybe it's time for the Jedi to end. But for all we know, he says, you know, maybe it's time for the Jedi to end the first order. Like mm-hmm. we, we have no idea They yeah. might've just edited right at that exact moment to make it seem like Luke wants to let the Jedi die and just kind of move in towards the center of the force. Yeah. Well, you don't actually see his vo- you know, his mouth move or anything. So it's not like, you know, you can't tell what his facial expression is and see exactly what, you know, is going on in that actual scene. So who, who right. knows? Is it actually Ray there for some reason? Maybe it's someone else, you know? Yeah. Maybe, maybe his sister's there, you know, Leia came, you know, and is chilling with him for a little bit, you know? They're doing a little brother-sister bonding time. Yeah. It could it could have been a flashback, you know. Yeah. Maybe he's telling a young Kylo Ren it's time for the Jedi True. to end. True. And so that's why he sought out the dark side because he didn't want to end his force train. I mean, we have no idea at all <laughs> the context here. Equal the force though. The light and dark end like Neo and Mr. Smith uh from the Matrix. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it could a, very well be. That's a good point. You know, like for yeah, all we know, I mean, it's it's like uh, Ray came to the Force. You know, she was able to discover that she's, you know, a Force yeah. user and all that, but she's not a Jedi. Yeah. And as far as Kylo Ren goes, yeah, he wants to go down the dark path. He wants to embrace the dark side. And yeah, we know how it happened at the end of Episode uh, 7, and that was supposed to be his final steps to the dark side and all that, but he still seemed conflicted even when he was in the snow fighting with Finn and Ray. I mean, just because he wants to go to the dark side doesn't mean that that's ultimately how he's going to fall. For all we know, both Kylo Ren and Ray might end up right in the middle and there is no more Jedi order and there is no more Sith and there is no organized light side and dark side. There's just force users seeking a balance. So it would just be the Bendu. Yeah, pretty much. You know, because we saw that in Star, a lot of it really that came out in Star Wars Rebels. Yeah. Um, which the Bendu are the race that's in between the good and evil. They're the middle of the Force. Mm-hmm. You know, so, it, right. so maybe, I mean, get to go back to the original part of this question. You know, the do y'all think that Ray will be the last Jedi? So going that route, Ray's not doesn't even become a Jedi. Yeah. That's saying Luke is the last Jedi. I mean. More than likely, we're going to see something happen to Luke because we know that this is the end of the Skywalker trilogies. You know, right. That's yeah. they. They already said that after Episode Nine, no more. It's not like we're not going to see Skywalker anymore, but they're not going to be the main focus. Right. You know, so we don't know if there's kids out there, uh, other than uh, you know, we got some evil side there. You know, with Kylo Ren. You know, the evil little shit running around, pretty much. But, <laughs> Allison, may the fourth be with you. <laughs> yeah. She's, she's in watching us now. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, so, that could, be, that could be the route that they go. I mean, <laughs> like, hi, Allison. Yeah, what up? Yeah, so who knows? Who knows if she will be or not? I don't... If they're talking The Last Jedi, I, for some reason, don't think it would be Rey. I think it is 
Luke, unless he pulled something like Ahsoka. Because we know Ahsoka in Star Wars Rebels, she was trained to become a Jedi, you know, along with her master, of course, you know. Mm -hmm. And now she decided to not be a Jedi anymore. She's just a Force user, you know. Right. So, and she will be back in the final season, so we know she's not dead. Cool. <laughs> Cool. She just said hi, guys, and it's got an emoji of someone waving. <laughs> oh, right on. Um, so I don't know. That could be either. It could go any way, really. Yeah, I mean, I I think that we can glean that they're talking about more than one Jedi, just because of the international translations and all the other foreign language, the way that the nouns tie in with the articles it's the plural articles and not the singular articles but i don't necessarily mean i don't necessarily think that means that luke turns you know luke trains ray into becoming a jedi and they're the last two jedi mm -hmm. we don't know if there's other jedi still out there i mean there could be i mean we we have no clue about um what's his name from rebels Ezra? Ezra. It was drawing a blank on his name. We don't know about Ezra. I mean, he could still be around. He'd be a lot older. Yeah. But he could still be around. So, I don't know. I mean, it's it's hard to say. Really, off the, ti off the title alone, just what, what route they're going to go. Right. I mean, it's definitely got our, our curiosity for it. I mean, it's only just beginning may and we got to wait till december so so back to you know i mean any other like speculations that you can you know from that trailer just from that trailer alone i mean not really we can see that there's definitely going to be some more battles between the first order and the resistance which is awesome mm -hmm. And it looks like we'll probably get to see, at least in part, the destruction of the Jedi Temple that Luke was training all the new Jedi at. Mm -hmm. But we don't know for sure. I can't yeah. remember. At the end of The Force Awakens, when Chewie and Rey arrive on the planet, they have R2 with them, do they not? Yes. I okay. think R2 I, went with them. Yes. I thought so. Yes. Yes. So I was like, so we, I mean, in the in the trailer, we see the scene where it's like Luke is kind of kneeling down. He's got his hand on R two D two, which was also an image that we saw in Ray's Force Vision on Takadana when she first touches the lightsaber. But again, we don't know if that's a vision of the past. We don't know if that was a premonition of the future. Yeah. I mean, for all we know, Ray and Luke are training on this new on the planet that he's on. I forget the name, uh, and the First Order is able to you know, track the Millennium Falcon there. And that fire that we're seeing is them as they're escaping from this planet. So, I mean, we, we don't know. I mean, I'm assuming it's from when Luke was training them originally, just because that seems to be a really important part of why he went into hiding in the first place and him rethinking the force and everything. So I, I would want to, I would think that they would want to show that, but you never know. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's the it's the battle we hear all the time between the light and dark side. Is it really, truly, is the light good, the good side and is the dark the du bad side? You you could take it both ways, from yeah. the way they're going. You know, it's it could go any direction in that route. I mean, maybe Luke's like thinking, okay, was the Jedi right for what they did, or were they wrong? Was what Darth Vader was doing. Yes, there's a lot of bad stuff that the dark side's done. I mean, they've they've killed a lot of people in cold blood. Uh, yeah, know, that's not <laughs> right. But what they were also trying to do by unite all these different empires out there, basically, and create like a galactic civilization, was that wrong? Yeah, you know, you don't know. Also goes, I'm curious, when are we going to watch the next three episodes that I have left? <laughs> Let me know. When you get when you get home, we will, uh, we, 
we, maybe the next couple of weeks if I got, yeah, we'll figure out something. Summer is coming up and there's a lot less TV. So what does she have? Four weeks. What does she have left? Um, what we got five, six and seven. Uh, okay. So, oh man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I don't, and I guess Leia has a lot bigger role in this episode. Good. But the thing is, is how big a role is it going to be? What is she going to do? Because she doesn't go with them to the planet, you know, to find Luke. So are we going to see? What's up, Justin? <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. Um, Allison hasn't seen episodes five, six, and seven. So. Okay. Uh, Ricky was asking which episodes missing. So, yeah, the ones that matter. I I was I was a little ballsy with her. I won't lie. I I, I took the ballsy route, and she had never seen Star Wars before. <laughs> Justin, <laughs> he spoke. Justin's supposed to have been on a couple podcasts, you know, and trying to, but family things, stuff like that, just busy and life. And uh, um, he goes, "Yay! I finally made it to something." <laughs> <laughs> right on welcome man yeah you gotta you gotta turn on your facebook and go to the video there um ryan and see what's you know you might not be able to do it on your computer it might drag down your uh computer or something with it but then you can see the comments i got my ipad so, i can try that's it true that works but um yeah no so we started watching the the episodes i was real bosley with her because she had never seen any of them and we started out with episode one so I, I took the chance and she still wanted to see them all we saw it all the way through and i even took her to see rogue one and then we came back and saw you know how episode five after that so <laughs> goodness that's the tenth commandments <laughs> hey you got to save the best for last is what they say right yeah, exactly. Exactly. Save the best for last. Um, yeah, Justin, we we've got the monthly podcast now. I'll tell I gotta tell you about that at work. I'll talk to you maybe tomorrow or something about the monthly um, gaming podcast that we do now. So, um, so back to back to more Star Wars. I kind of, you know, with May the 4th, it, it can be about anything. Um, I know after after we get episodes 8 here, we move into the Han Solo spinoff, mm -hmm. which is interesting. What what do you think they're going to do for the Han Solo spinoff movie? I don't know. I don't know. I heard the, the really the only rumors I've been hearing is that uh, we're going to learn that Solo isn't his actual name mm -hmm. and that it's a name that he takes like while he's, you know, becoming a scoundrel, if you will. Yeah. Uh, so we're supposed to learn how he gets his name. But otherwise, I haven't really heard any other rumors or anything. So don't we hear don't we also know that supposedly he was married to? Or no, that was the comics. Yeah, but the comics did. are but considered we'll canon. Yeah. According to yeah. the Lucasfilm Story Group, all the Marvel comics that have come out since Disney got the rights are all canon. <laughs> Show how he became a piece of shit and can't pay people. <laughs> I wonder if yeah. we'll see him jettison his cargo at the first sign of uh, an Imperial cruiser. I don't know. Maybe. Are we going to see the Kessler run? I hope so. That would be cool. You know. Maybe we can finally, you know, teach all the noobs that uh, parsecs is a measurement of distance and not time. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, later, Justin. Thanks for stopping in for sure. Appreciate the uh, support there, and I'll I'll talk to you uh, later about the gaming podcast. Um, so, yeah, it's there's there's a lot of possibilities. I really hope they actually bring his wife into the movie that'd be cool can you see someone you know like bossing him around you know well i, th like I that? think kind of. uh, i think in the comics that she 
well, like she posed as his wife, but it was never actually his uh. wife. Because there's a scene where um, in the comic, Han and Leia are trying to escape from the Imperials. And this is before uh, em- the Empire Strikes Back. And they hide on this planet that's like a the atmosphere is like this really strong vapor where the tie uh, the tie fighters don't have enough shielding to get through mm-hmm. so he goes down there and he's hidden and he's like having this like romantic picnic with Leia and then all of a sudden this other Corellian ship shows up and she comes out and she's all pissed off but I think later on in that series we actually it's revealed that um, they had to pose as husband and wife for a while and she's crazy I think so. Mm-hmm. Like she didn't want it to end or something. I I forget why I, I didn't. I have, I've only read like maybe the first ten Star Wars comics, and they're up through like I think they're in the late twenties now for this yes. for Star Wars the ongoing. So something like that. They've they've yeah. gotten through quite a few. I know Darth I Vader is few. awesome, but yeah. Is it? Doesn't he have a solo comic coming out? Yeah the uh, the That's first cool. one that they did, and so they did Darth Vader, and then it was like Vader down and. Um, Vader Down was like a mini series, and then Darth Vader, I believe, ended, and now there's a new one coming out in uh, yeah, it's June or July, a brand new Darth Vader number one ongoing. Mm-hmm. So, and I think this is the one, this because the first Darth Vader takes place after Episode Four, before Episode Five, so after A New Hope, before Empire Strikes Back. But the new one is supposed to follow him between three and four. So this one I'm really excited about. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm really curious about how well it's going to be done, um, because I know the Star Wars comic from what I've heard from a lot of people start out really, really strong, and I did read the first few issues because I have them, um, but then I kind of just lost track on, uh, picking them up and reading them, but then I understand it started to go down some, you know, it kind of fell apart, yeah. you know, but. I'm sure they'll find a way to, you know, again, make it big and and make it better and all that as time goes. So, so yeah. I, but they've got, what, there's another spinoff start that just started today, I think, too, that I saw. Yeah, it's the... Um... I want to say it's the Rogue One adaptation, I think. It's like a six-issue miniseries, and it's like Rogue One. But I think it's just an adaptation. Like, it's not additional character work or anything. I, I think it's just Rogue One as a comic. But I could be wrong. But I saw that at the shop today. There was a Rogue yeah. One was in there that somewhere. Issue 2 that came out already, I think. Because um, there was another one... Hmm. Um, Oh, what's up, bro? My brother's on here. So, oh, he's just want to stop by and say hey. <laughs> um, it's a good name. <laughs> so that's a manly name. <laughs> you mean a womanly name? Psh, psh, psh. <laughs> All right, bro. Yeah, thanks for at least stopping by. Um. Yeah, we'll catch up before then. <laughs> Ryan is no of no importance. People are talking uh-huh. shit back and uh-huh. forth now. <laughs> I guess I'll just sign out then. See you guys. All right. Peace out, Ryan. No. <laughs> What's up, Chris? How's it going? So, yeah. Um, no, I, actually, I was going to pull up on all sees here because they post all their stuff up Mm. um probably just signed into your comiXology too i should tell you everything that came out today oh that's true i didn't even think about that (laughs) better than a sissy name like jamie to people (laughs) back and forth Uh... (laughs) oh lord this is great um, no, I'm trying to pull it up here to see what it, what it is, but it was something different. There's a brand new one number issue one came out today and I can't think of what the name of it was. 
I mean, I know most of the stuff that they were talking about, of course, was Secret Empire today. Right. That was the um, that was the big thing that uh, came out today. So yeah, naturally, yeah. that's going to take up the time. Also, Bane had his own comic come out, and there was a new Guardians, a couple new Guardians actually. Yeah, um, Mother of something or whatever, mm-hmm. Mother of Entropy, and and then I think just the regular ongoing as well. Um, yeah, Rogue One is issue two, and then I'm not seeing. I mean, Poe Dameron had another issue come out, so but that's been going on for a while. Maybe it's next week it comes out. It might drop. Mm. But from what I saw or something like that. Um, ongoing. On. So I don't know. I was I was I wasn't sure about that Rogue One that one though because I did see that and I was like, is it an actual like going into more detail or is it just a comic adaptation of the actual movie? Right. I think from what I understand, it's just an adaptation. But I could okay. be wrong. It might be you know in between scenes kind of stuff. But I mm-hmm. think it was a uh, Chirrut and Bays were on the cover, at least of the one that I saw, just kind of hanging out. I'm looking on the Wikipedia. So hold mm-hmm. on. Get it? Wookiepedia. <laughs> um, while we're looking this up, uh, he brings up a good question. What about a Fett movie? Yeah, I mean, I think that we kind of need one. I mean, he's yeah. the coolest non-character that we've ever seen, like, in a movie ever. Like, has mm-hmm. has anyone ever not done anything in a movie and has been as cool as this dude? And the answer is no. Like, we really need to see this guy. He's supposed to be the most feared bounty hunter in the galaxy. And on screen, we've seen him as a little kid and we've seen him as kind of a stooge. Like we really need to see this guy kick an ass. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that would be, I think the amount of badassness that he is, that we've seen, and we don't know if he's actually, was it, well, it, we, I mean, they've all talked about Boba and even Django. I mean, I've heard rumors of all of them, you know, supposedly making an appearance here and there or something like that. But he definitely is a badass character and there is so much backstory with it. I mean, we only saw a little bit about their backstory, at least the Fets, when we saw with what they did with the Clone Wars and stuff like that. But that was it, you know. Um, it just, they kind of left it there. But that was, of course, George Lucas, and we know how most of his movies ended up, so... I mean, they made uh, Boba Fett as a kid pretty cool in the Clone Wars. Yeah. There was that one kind of storyline where he gathered up like a bunch of other bounty hunters and created like this bounty hunting team that was pretty badass mm-hmm. to try to, you know, frame the Jedi because he really he wanted revenge on uh, Mace Windu naturally. Uh, so he was trying to do that. And, you know, obviously that never came to fruition. But still, like if they even made a movie where he's half as cool as that, like I think a lot of people would be satisfied and like, he's just, he looks so freaking cool. His armor is awesome. Slave one is a freaking great ship. Like we need to see something. He doesn't even necessarily have to be a villain. Like he can be an anti-hero. He's the, he could be the Deadpool of the star Wars universe. He just never yeah. says anything, you know, True. <laughs> like he well, could be so badass. They did have before Disney took, you know, and bought it and everything they, and closed down the Lucas games. They had that star Wars 1313 game they were working on, which was about Boba Fett and his story and a lot more with him. So they've got a story there. They have a lot of stuff that they can, you know, talk about, but, it's it's like they put him on the afterburner and they even said they were already talking about a spinoff movie but then they stopped you know anything that they were talking about but then i've heard rumors that it's there and you know (laughs) wow you see these comments (laughs) yeah so (laughs) i think we need an r-rated ray bikini movie lightsabers and bikinis you can't lose (laughs) 
Hell yeah. I'd well, definitely just, uh, be down for that. Or Jedi Gone Wild. <laughs> Jedi it's Gone all Wild. The, all the best female Jedi. Yes. That would... I, You'd get some crazy alien type stuff in there, but you know, there's, right. some, there's some hot aliens out there. You've seen in some movies and stuff like that. I mean, you got, yeah, yeah. What's the three boobed one from um, uh, what was the Arnold movie? Total uh, Recall. Total Recall. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be messed up. <laughs> Finn could be like Ray. I'm gonna pound that ass with the force. <laughs> Jeez. Oh Lord! Well, there was a Twilight chick though from their uh, prequel trilogy, Ayla Sakura. True. She's pretty dope. Yeah, I mean, there's there's been quite a few. There's been quite a few. So, yeah. I mean, Growing up with Soka, those yeah. uh, head tails and head horn things are uh, mm-hmm. well on the kinky side. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's it could be it could make it real interesting with alien sex and yeah mm-hmm. you want to see where i can put this lightsaber oh no <laughs> uh could you just see it one of one of the male jedis getting turned on and his lightsaber accidentally just pops out and like chops off his leg mm-hmm. kind of like uh someone getting excited and shooting themselves in the leg <laughs> <laughs> chop off those his fucking leg be like whoops <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, what else for Star Wars? I mean, there's so much we can dive into. Yeah, so and it's much. like even if there's not like a newsworthy topic, there's always things to speculate on and stuff to talk about. Even just compiling lists, you know, like what's your favorite? Ooh, yeah, okay, well, why don't we do some lists? Like what's your favorite Starfighter? Like the ship. Like what's your favorite Star Wars ship? I mean, I know it's a lot of people's and it's always been mine because I've always loved it, especially because of, as a kid, the games I played, you know, with it. And that's the X-Wing. I mean, you got to love the X-Wing. The X-Wing's badass. It's one of the most versatile, you know, fighters out there. It can do so much shit. And it's just, it was so much fun piloting on like, X-Wing versus TIE Fighters and stuff like that. Oh, you know, yeah. the games back in the day. Those were those were the shit. <laughs> oh, dude. Um, Rogue Squadron is still, oh. like, one of my favorite Star Wars games of all time on the N64. That was a classic. That oh, was a such classic. a great game. Such a great game. Yes. Yes, definitely. Um, yeah. No, I mean, you get, it's a... Uh, yeah, the X-Wing. It's an oldie but a goodie. Like, it's, it's a great... It's a great ship. You know, it's iconic, and it's fantastic it's got great lego sets too which is really mm-hmm. nice even yes. the updated version that we're seeing in the new trilogy uh you know they're just taking the classic and updating it making it look a little bit more modern which is which is awesome to see uh yes. but both of them yes. i have uh i have luke's x-wing and um, pose x-wing lego sets and they're just they're such fun yeah. models to build i'd probably yeah. i'd probably go with a tie interceptor myself though i mean you know i'm an imperial guy so yeah Obviously, it would be an Imperial ship, but uh, yeah, the TIE Interceptor is pretty great. Although, I'm also a big fan, surprisingly, of the uh, Naboo N1 Starfighter that we saw in Episode 1. Which is one about it, just sleek and gold, you know? It's all fancy cool. looking. And just, yeah. yeah, it was it was, it was was way different than any other ship, you know, that you've seen out there. I, I mean, I am definitely, you know, uh, a fan of the Empire and, you know... And all their ships and everything, but just it's the X-wing definitely takes the cake. I mean, that's that's one that's one set I don't actually have for Legos that I would like to get. Yeah, you, you know, need I to get one. I did get that the Kylo Ren's though. I got that Lego set. That was badass. To oh nice. You know, I have that one. Um, real quick, the comic I was thinking of is the Screaming Citadel. Oh. Issue one comes out next week, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, new set, a spin-off type thing. So, yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. Um, Chris, I'm still hoping that they show Yoda and Vader talking to Ray and Luke through the Force in eight. Dude, Vader Force Ghost would be pretty sweet. Although at the end of uh, Jedi, it's 
you know, he's back to Anakin Skywalker. But that would be interesting to see, like, an Anakin Skywalker Force Ghost being like, Ben, yeah. stop being a douchebag. That would like, be. That would I came be back to the light. So yeah. can you, grandson. <laughs> like, that would be interesting, you know? Yeah. And then you see, uh, you see him sitting back, kicking back with a couple of Mai Tais, chilling, you know, having a good old time, talking it up. And then all of a sudden, uh, Tupac and Biggie and Elvis, they all Elvis show shows up. Elvis up, yeah. And they're like, what's up, fellas? <laughs> oh, that'd be weird. Uh, yes. Real they're like, weird. like, wait a minute here. You guys are in the wrong movie. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, it would be cool to see them, and even Obi-Wan, you know, coming back and making a little force ghost, you know, appearance. I mean, cause it was awesome to see Obi-Wan, which you haven't seen rebels yet. You need to get caught up on that. Yeah. I haven't finished rebels yet. So I'll have to do that. But see when he makes his appearance in there kind of leads into, you know, the next, the star Wars movie there and kind of builds into all of the stuff, you know, whatnot. I would like to see an old Vader force ghost chokeslam emo Kylo <laughs> just see him like up here and just like bitch what are you thinking <laughs> you you've went to the dark side <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh that would be <laughs> i would love to see a scene even if it's like 20 seconds or 30 seconds long where like r2 and bb8 are having an argument Dude, I you know who they would need to get in there though on that, and to show up, Chopper. Chopper, yeah, that would be interesting. Oh, so Ch- yeah, Chopper, BB-8, R2D2, and they're all like arguing with each other and have different viewpoints. And C-3PO is just standing there like R2, don't say that. Oh no, he didn't. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, like BB-8 just sitting there with not... like his arms crossed, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That would be sick. <laughs> Kylo Ren works at Hot Topic and wears lipstick. <laughs> uh, I could tell you're not a Kylo Ren fan. I don't think a lot of people, you know, were a big fan of his. But other than his voice, his voice, I don't know what it is. I like his voice that he has. In yeah, it. it's like they they went safe. And instead of like trying to overdo it, they're just like, let's make it kind of sound like it's, you know, it's his regular voice. And there's just this weird apparatus kind of mm-hmm. thing that affects yeah. it. but. Like, they didn't do anything special. They didn't try to make it this threatening voice or anything like that. They just, let's yeah. have him talk through some sort of an apparatus and see how it sounds. And, yeah, it, it sounded really cool. He sounds pretty badass. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, definitely. And he takes off his mask, and he's definitely the fuggliest guy in the galaxy. <laughs> yeah, no shit. So no wonder true. he went dark side. <laughs> he was awesome until he took off his I wish I was Vader mask (laughs) and let his emo team flag fly. (laughs) (laughs) Next thing you know, we're going to see him without his robot and all that crap. And he's going to be wearing skinny jeans, (laughs) you know, all kinds of shit like that. (laughs) Oh, that would be classic. No, I, I hope they do improve on what he, what they built with him. I think there's a lot of possibilities with him, especially Mm -hmm. since he's going back and training more with Snoke, which we haven't even talked about Snoke yet. You know, who is he? Who's he? You know, where does he come from? What is... We don't know anything. You know, really. (laughs) Where does he come from? Where does he go? Where does he come from, cotton-eyed Snoke? (laughs) Wow. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. That was pretty awful. But fun oh, stuff. Pff, you wish it was awful. That was amazing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Sure. Sure. <laughs> we'll let you believe that one. Um. So, what what are your theories on Snoke? Uh, I think Snoke is Snoke, man. Yeah. What? Where do you think he's been, though? Somewhere. I mean, he's not a Sith. So that doesn't mean that he couldn't have learned the dark side somewhere else. True. True. But why, if he's as strong as he supposedly is, why have we never seen him, though, before? Is the question. Why Why is he kept so quiet, especially when, you know, you had, like, Vader out there and, you know, characters like that that were so badass, 
you know, is it, is he uh, end up being, you know, maybe a lot more evil than them? And he just thought what they were doing was too good. So he's like, let's see where this goes. I'm going to stand in the background, see what happens, try and mask myself. I mean. Could be, you know, he could have been, uh someone who was passed over to be an apprentice for Darth Sidious. I mean, we know there's one thing with the Sith. It's always two there are. So Sidious has had an apprentice from episode one all the way through to the end, you know, until he dies in Return of the Jedi. He's always had an apprentice. It was Darth Maul, and it was Count Dooku, and it was Darth Vader. Yeah. You know, it doesn't mean that there weren't other candidates we don't know about. He, Snoke could have been someone else from whatever planet uh, Darth Maul is from. Is it... Uh, Dathomir, I think, where Darth Maul, or yeah, where Darth Maul came from. Uh, yeah. He could have been another one of those guys that was force sensitive and just studied and studied. He could have been a secret apprentice of Vader. He could have been a secret apprentice of Maul. Any of those characters, and we just never saw them in any of the movies. Uh, but they've been sitting there biding their time, and now it's what twenty years, mm-hmm. thirty years later. I know and the. Old He's surfaced, gone. you know. The old canon that's all gone and changed. You know, a lot of that stuff uh, expanded. Mm-hmm. So, right. I mean, when you said a, apprentice, you know, that makes me think of unleashing. You know, the first and second games that they did, um, where it was I can't even think of his name. The um, apprentice that Darth Vader had, but he eventually Isn't it, turned uh, good. Something Star Killer. Star Killer. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, those are fun uh, games. Yeah, that is, which they just released this month for free on Xbox. Um, the second one for free. I think it was last month or the month before they had the first one free. So, um, Chris's question. Oh, Kurt's up in here. What's up, Kurt? What's going on? So, a couple comments here. So, um, do you think that uh, Sidious is, uh, it's, he is Sidious's old mentor. Hmm. Could be. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he could be. Was it um, uh, Darth Plagueis the Wise, you know, who uh, taught his apprentice everything he yeah. knew and then his apprentice killed him in his sleep? Yeah. Right? Maybe he didn't finish the job and it's taken sure. him this long to, to get back to strength. You know, like Voldemort. It took Voldemort forever in Harry Potter to come back into, yeah. uh, you know, human. Maybe it's the same way with Snoke. It's taken him a lot of time to crawl back. Mm-hmm. From the brink of death. Could he cheat death though? Cheat death though? Maybe you know the powerful ones. You know the most powerful ones in Star Wars that we've known have been able to do more stuff that we haven't known about, and there's still a lot of things out there that we don't know about what they can do. I mean, look how messed up he is. You know, mm-hmm. so there's a lot of chance. There's a good chance that he is. You know, could he be Mace Windu? That's it's a possibility. I mean, you never know. You never know. Yeah. After he got tossed out that window, you never know what happened. You know. What if Snoke is Sifo uh, Diaz? Could be. You know. Well, I mean, Sifo Diaz. True. They they showed yeah. in Clone Wars. I mean, he died yeah. in the Clone Wars uh, yeah. animated thing. The very last season, they did a whole. Like three issues where, or not three issues, three episodes where uh, I remember that now, Anakin yes. and Obi Wan tried to track it down because they're like, maybe we should follow this lead, and uh, yeah, he 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 did die. Yeah, that is that is true. I do remember that now. So I mean, I it's not he's that's I mean, but you never know, right? I mean, I think I mean, they found out that he died, but it's yeah. like, show me the body. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not like what we saw with, well, I mean, spoiler alert if you want to watch Rebels or anything, you know, but what we saw with Darth Maul, we saw him die this second time. This, he for sure died this second time, <laughs> you know. it's yeah, Obi-Wan caught him in half from the top of his head to the bottom of his scrotum like he is true. cut in freaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chris, if it was Mace Windu, the Snoke would have uh, been like, look, motherfucker. <laughs> He's letting a bitch whoop your ass. Dark side, like, motherfucker, yeah. do you speak it? <laughs> Dude, that would be badass. Could you imagine, like, the thugged out <laughs> Jedi or, you know, Sith or, you know, whatever. 
whatever Snoke actually is supposed to be. I mean, we don't know if he's an actual Sith Lord. Right. I mean, I mean, they make they make no mention of Sith. Yeah, it's you know exactly. he, we know that Kylo Ren is the leader of the Knights of Ren, or at least the main leader of the Knights of Ren. Like yeah. we don't even know what the name Kylo Ren stands for. Like for all we know, Kylo and whatever alien language Kylo just means first. Like yeah. he's the first Ren. Yeah. Of so therefore he's the leader of the Knights of Ren, and Supreme Leader Snoke is, you know, the supreme leader of the cult of Ren. Like we have no idea. They could just be a dark side cult. You know, if Kylo Ren's so emo, what if the rest of all the Wrens are all, they're all just a bunch of emo kids that are like, we're going to get a Ouija board and do a seance. And like Darth yeah. Vader's soul appeared and was like, join the dark side. And like, that's how it happened. Like, we have no idea. <laughs> Snoke of the OG Sith. <laughs> <laughs> Sith has the Jerry Curl uh, choke. <laughs> <laughs> Kylo Ren equals King Skinny Jean Bitch Boy. <laughs> uh oh by the way kurt just so you see uh since you haven't seen him yet you missed out and ryan's is sitting here he's you know forgot the money last time but sitting right there i still gotta go get a protector for mine but um what's the other one what happened to the inquisitor uh, yeah, good question good. Which one? We don't, we don't, uh, cause we know a couple of them died in what season, what was it? Season two of Rebels? Yeah. Yeah. One died in end? season one and then two of them died in season two, but there were three of them at the end of season two. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's that. Uh, Chris, that's, uh, Grand Admiral Thawne, he was actually part of the original canon that they scrapped and they brought him back into Star Wars Rebels. Um, <laughs> Kurt just called me a fag. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're jealous. I got three more sitting here, Kurt. They're going to be worth some money. Going 30 to 50 bucks right now. Yeah. They'll probably jump up even more when Rebels is done next year. So. Yeah, and the Thrawn, the new yeah. Thrawn book comes out later this year that's true so but yeah written uh, by timothy zahn too so that should be pretty cool he's the one that wrote the original uh, heir to the empire and all that stuff that introduced thrawn so you can get it for free chris how hook me up um no it's it, he was badass this season oh by stealing it mace would do g sith style <laughs> nice oh uh, shit um so yeah no Grand Admiral Thawne he's going to be showing back up in the final season of Rebels 2 and he was badass this season I mean he is he is became one of my favorite you know like villains in the Star Wars universe or if you look at the dark side you know the Empire, stuff like that as the good side, one of the favorite good guys, you could say, either or, you know, kind of like what we said earlier. Um, but yeah, he, he he was badass and he looks even more badass because he is a very, you know, he knows how to figure things out by not, ju not just, you know, trying to steal stuff or kick the crap out of people. He sits there and stares at something and looks at it and sees, okay, what does it take? What is, what's going on here? Let's figure it out and take it step by step and break it down. You know, he's a genius, like when it comes to that type of stuff. So very, oh, yeah. very sweet. So. He's a, uh, I think I put it, he's like, um, Captain Picard, if you were evil on and worked for the empire. Yeah, Exactly. Cherry curl first, four slap. <laughs> um, yeah, so Thrawn. I want. I, I wonder what. So, going into that real quick, the one thing I guess to talk about since Rebels is so big, for mm -hmm. at least for them, unfortunately they're canceling it, which I still don't understand that. I mean, because it's so catching up to. because yeah. it catches up to Rogue One and the entire and the Ghost gets destroyed <laughs> did it get it destroyed though do we know for no sure? I, no i'm just saying like yeah. maybe that's why they're yeah. ending it because they're like eh, let's just kill these guys off now they died in the battle yeah 
but I'm curious how where they're going to take the characters. Mm. Yeah. I to mean, the grave. Who's going to Yeah, to the grave. Shit. Thrawn's going to kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> Go Empire. As long as Chopper saved, you know. Yeah. I mean, they can, all, they can all die. Chopper would be awesome to see later on. You yeah. know, like we were talking about Chopper and R2 and <laughs> yeah. PP8 all arguing. Could you see them, like, going around in a circle, like, trying to put their hands up like they're, you know, trying to fight and stuff like that? <laughs> Next thing you know, yeah. it's one big circle jerk. Oh, jeez. And there's the porn parody right there for you, folks. They've all got the little things that come out that they put into the things that, like, spin around, you know? Yeah. <laughs> They're out putting it into each other's ports. Oh, God. Uh, X-Wing casting couch coming soon. It's shaped like an X-Wing. Just wait to see the uh, see the lightsabers that come out of it and what they do. <laughs> uh, definitely good to see you, too, Chris. Um, we definitely need to catch up sometime soon. Um, yeah, <laughs> definitely. We, well, every Wednesday night, well, it's going to be Tuesday nights coming up here for a little while, but usually it's either Tuesday or Wednesday night and we're going to be doing it from here on out on Facebook. So come join in if you're, uh, and anyone, if you're listening audio or this is going to show up on my YouTube channel too, um, later, uh, once I get edited and put up, but yes, definitely good to see you. So, <laughs> testosterone fueled sexual machismo, nice, nice. But yeah, take it easy, Chris. Appreciate it. Um, what I I guess, I mean, like I said, we could keep going on, but it's almost a good stopping point here for some Star Wars stuff. We kind of talked about a lot of the, you know, stuff going on. Um, how about this? Let's talk about, oh, uh, we just got interrupted. Shit. Um, so, well, Facebook just got interrupted. Okay, reconnected. It should be going live again. That sucks. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's showing it's yeah. still live and everything. Okay. That's weird. Well, we're back. Anyway, sorry for, for the little interruption there, but um, hmm. yeah, so... Let's finish off the podcast by talking about top three hottest ladies of Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's the porn parody episode that we're going to talk about later on down the road. The one no, that they made in uh, Zack yeah. and Miri, Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, Star Wars. Nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> what is, I, and I know we've talked about it before, but we really haven't talked about Unleashing or anything like that. We might have talked about on Nerds. I'm not sure. Your favorite and least favorite Star Wars movie. Oh. So, kind of finish up with like where we're at. With yeah. Uh, favorite Star Wars movie, probably The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, I mean, yeah. it's, it's right there in the title, The Empire Strikes Back. I mean, this is the only movie of the original trilogy where the Empire wins. Mm-hmm. Because obviously their Death Stars get blown up in both episodes four and six, <laughs> so uh, it was a good, it's a good movie. Uh, I mean, it's the pivotal moment in the entire Skywalker saga where Darth Vader reveals who he is to Luke Skywalker, you know, and ultimately puts Luke on the path of, you know, I'm going to become a Jedi so that I could save you, you know. Luke, uh, I am your father. Right. Your so father. I'm your father. <laughs> I'm your father. Dad, dad is father. <laughs> I'm your dad. Yeah. Dad is father. <laughs> I like gold. <laughs> yeah, the emperor. The emperor is like, if he can, the son of Skywalker must die. And then Darth Vader is like, can I paint his you who gold? <laughs> Could you imagine? That? Oh, jeez. That would That'd be, be awful. That'd be terrible. That'd be awful. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, definitely Empire yeah. Strikes Back. I mean, you know, it's the whole I love you, I know, and he's frozen in carbonite, and you have, mm -hmm. um, you get Billy D. Williams in there for the first time. It's like, yes. yes, you got Lando. I mean, Billy D. Williams, Lando Calrissian is the smoothest motherfucker in the galaxy. Oh, yeah. Where's his uh, spinoff movie? Yeah, really. Come on. Boom. Come we on. need it. Yes. We need it. And do, do it, it in the... 
do it in the sequel trilogy timeline. Like I want Dude. old Lando just surrounded by just gorgeous, beautiful young like twenty year old girls. <laughs> I do want to see the uh, the young one too because we get to see him in the Han Solo mm-hmm. spinoff movie. So I'd like to see him get his own spinoff. Um, yeah. After that too, you know, build that oh, character sure. more. But uh, sure. back to the favorite, yes. Uh, uh, Empire Strikes Back, hands down, my favorite too. I mean, it's all about the Empire. It's about the yeah. dark side. It's you know, it it shows them winning. It shows what's happened because every single time we see them, they're losing. They're losing left and right. Well, actually, I take that back. Except for at least in the original trilogy, I mean, yes, the they're trying to kind of get away from the second trilogy. You know, the crap trilogy. I guess you could call it the shit trilogy. Whatever you want to call it. Um, Pre- the prequel trilogy, yeah. Well, they're trying to not call it the prequels anymore, in a sense. You know, if you notice, they're not really referencing it much because of the hate and whatnot for a yeah. lot of that stuff. But the episode three was of, you know, the Sith winning, too. So they each mm-hmm. had their own. Each trily- trilogy has had that time where the Sith wins. And, you know, it kind of looks like what episode eight is going to happen to, too is going to go that route where we'll get to see the dark side win again, you know, but yeah, knows? quite, um, quite possibly, quite yeah. possibly. But, um, yeah, that's hands down my favorite uh, of all. I mean, love the movie and I need to, I, I can't believe I haven't watched it with Allison yet. You know? Yeah. You need to get on there. Yeah, I know. Get her watching the, the, the best, the greatest one of all time. The so. best one. I mean, so I what's think it's your... a, a, another reason why I like Rogue One so much, too, because it's like, I mean, obviously we know that the rebels get away, but like the Empire still pretty much wins the day. You know, it's like, yeah, they, they lost the plans. But mm-hmm. for the most part, like that was all like about the Empire, you know, yeah. the Empire killed everybody and all that. You know, it was it was still cool. Uh, least favorite for me is episode three, The Revenge of the Sith. That's uh. I, I got to agree with you again on that one. I mean, we saw an Anakin that was a little bitch, that was whiny, that, I mean, it makes Kylo Ren look extremely manly, you know? <laughs> like he's got a massive set of balls on him. <laughs> which, is, which is amazing after the way we've seen and what we've been talking about Uh yeah, Kurt, we actually, we, we talked about that earlier, about the Han Solo spinoff. We were uh, going back and forth about that a little bit. Um, yeah, dude, way to be on time. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> the, the guy playing Han Solo looks older than Harrison Ford in the Return <laughs> in Return of the Jedi. Yeah, yeah, he does. He does. Yes, he, he, does. does. he does. Yes, he really does. <laughs> he doesn't look a like point. a young Han Solo at all. Yeah, like exactly. how. This we this we know that this takes place before episode four. So what, like the day before, like it, it, this movie will end with them on Moss Is- in you know, in yeah. Moss Eisley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going along. It's uh, going right along with the Rogue One timeline. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, uh, and actually, I thought of one other thing. One other uh, best and worst best scene. And worst scene in all the movies. Ooh, your favorite and least favorite. Oh and man! Kurt, in the comments, let let us know what your favorite scene is, and what your least favorite scene is in all the Star Wars movies. Yeah. Um. Oh gosh, my favorite scene. Oh boy. <sighs> Probably when Vader picks up the Emperor and throws him to his death. Mm-hmm. Um. It was the entire culmination of everything that Luke had set out to do from the moment he discovered that Darth Vader was his father. Really from the moment he discovered that he could use the Force. I mean, yeah, he didn't really know about Darth Vader during Episode 4, even for the first half of Episode 5. But as soon as he found that out, he knew that he had to redeem his father, and he did. Uh, So that's probably my favorite scene. Uh, Mm -hmm. Although the whole reveal, you know... Obi Wan never told you what happened to your father. Like that was just so good. Yeah. And any scene with Yoda in Empire is amazing. I mean, Frank Oz is just out of this world. Yeah. Hence why he's an alien, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, 
But yeah, any scene with with Yoda in in, um, in Empire Strikes Back is great. Even in Return of the Jedi, just anything with Yoda in the original trilogy is is amazing. Yeah. Um, so many great scenes in the original trilogy, but yeah, I'd probably go with, uh, Vader throwing the emperor over there and just, it's such a powerful scene. It's so heartwarming to see that. Um, and I'm a Darth Vader guy, you know, I yeah. like that he was evil and everything, yeah. but that redemption was just such a great payoff. Mm-hmm. Well, Kurt goes, uh, when Lo- Yoda lifts the X-Wing out of the swamp in, uh, Empire, the music in that scene. Oh, dude. That was a and hell then- of a scene. And just the look on Luke's face, too. And he's like, I don't believe it. And Yoda's like, that is why you fail. So my favorite scene is a recent one. And that was the Darth Vader scene on Rogue One. At the end of the movie, (laughs) that was the most badass we have seen any single person in all the Star Wars movies. I mean, he literally came out and he kicked ass, took names, took their names again, and then came back. And kicked their ass all over again. I mean, he wrecked fools. And there was no stopping him throughout the whole scene. I mean, it was Vader like we have seen, should have seen him from the beginning. Yes, Vader's always been badass and I've always loved Vader. But this was Vader to a point. I mean, oh, just like, yeah. you could not beat it. I mean, it was, it gave me chills when I was sitting there watching that. You know, and then, of course, leading into the whole Leia scene and building into that, you know, that was, it was, it was amazing. It yeah. was just amazing. The uh, yeah. Rogue One is worth watching just for the, like, yeah. literally just watch the last 10 minutes of Rogue One over and over and over and over again, because it's the two greatest scenes in that whole, and that whole movie was great. I love Rogue One. But those those two scenes alone, the freaking Vader coming down the hallway, and then finally the you know uh, the rebel ship breaking away and he, him coming in, yeah, and you know Princess Leia just turning around like we have hope, and she uh-huh. just has this, she just has like the most hopeful, innocent, sweet, wonderful look on her face, and you're like, how could you not believe in the rebellion? Yeah, <laughs> when, exactly. When you have someone. Exactly. Uh, oh, it's so Justin great. just chimed back in, and he's got his favorite is the bar scene with uh, Jabba the Hutt. Oh, it's a good one. That's definitely a good one. I did, I did like that scene. I, it was very enjoyable, very, very enjoyable. Yoda confronting yeah. uh, Count Dooku was epic, highly anticipated, oh, yeah. and the payoff was huge. Yes. Oh, yes. the exchange so. too. The exchange yeah. between um, Dooku and Yoda right mm-hmm. there was so so good you know and he's like i've become more powerful than any jedi even you and you know he does the force lightning and yoda just absorbs it and he's like much to learn you still (laughs) have oh so good (laughs) never forget the hot princess leia outfit oh dude oh you can't you can't go wrong with that that's like a favorite scene or most enjoyable scene to watch alone like there's a big difference (laughs) Huge difference. Huge, huge difference. All right, so worst scene. Worst scene. Ooh, this is probably, for me, a tie between two scenes. And those two scenes are the dinner scene with creepy teenage Anakin Skywalker in episode two. Mm. Um, Or I guess not the dinner scene. It's like like after they've eaten their dinner and they're like in front of the fire and... And he's oh, he's just so bad, and he's all like, "I wish that I could just wish my feelings away." And it's just it was poorly written by George Lucas. It was terribly directed. It was crappily acted. It was just bad, just a bad scene. Um, it just, it's just creepy, you know. And it's like the very next scene, they're all in love, and I'm like, "Wait, hold on, how did this happen?" Because if he could make Queen Amidala fall in love with them like that. I have a fucking chance to make her fall in love with me because I'm not that creepy. I'm yeah. a little creepy, but not that creepy shit. Uh, but yeah, probably my other least favorite scene is uh, episode three where Anakin is in the Jedi Temple and he walks into the Jedi Council chamber and all the younglings are in there and he kills them. I mean, obviously he kills them off screen, but that's just come on, George Lucas. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. So unnecessary and stupid. Yeah, we didn't have to see that. They didn't even have to mention it. Like, they didn't have to mention anything, you know? The the younglings, come on, dude. (laughs) Worst scene is the introduction of uh, Jar Jar Binks. (laughs) 
<laughs> that's definitely up there too. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Oh uh, Lord. Uh, I, I kind of, I, I really kind of have two in a sense also. I mean, I would say the one that kind of comes in close to being up there is the one where they're sitting there and he's talking about how he hates sand. Oh, really? Course. It gets it, everywhere. everywhere. And Just I'm like, like, <laughs> what a little bitch. Like, come on. Seriously? Like, are you making a butt crack joke, bro? Yeah. Seriously? I mean... <laughs> yeah, we could you know, we could probably just lump in and say any scene that was only Anakin and Padme in episode two yeah. is in the worst. Yeah, <laughs> it's the worst definitely. shit that we're gonna see. <laughs> then the second or the my my all time would be when he is sitting there without legs and everything at the end of three, and he is screaming out. Like the biggest bitch in the universe and just screaming at full length. And I'm like, seriously, like, come on. Like, this is awful. The only thing that could have made it worse is if they had him, like, flopping around. Yeah, flailing about. Yeah. I hate you. (laughs) I hate you. Just whining. When, when Jake Lloyd asked Padme, are you an angel? <laughs> oh, Jake Lloyd's a badass. That a bad scene. Might as well have been a pun on Spaceballs. Bad. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, that, that, was, that was the worst. I just could not stand it, and it made me want to pull my hair out. Like, And I, I've had my head shaved for so long. Like, <laughs> yeah, I want to grow my hair back just so I could pull it yeah, out. So. Exactly. So. I, I almost feel bad for George Lucas because... The stuff in the in the prequel trilogy that he got right or that he did well was actually really good and like it really did add to the mythos of Star Wars. But there's just so much that he's just so bad at as a yeah. writer and a director, and it just ruined a lot. I mean, it ruined Star Wars, not necessarily ruined Star Wars, but it just ruined a lot of people's experience because there's so much that's bad, and a lot of it came down to the writing and the acting. You know, so like that's all on George Lucas. Like, Dude. cast better actors. Fucking write these scenes yeah. better, man. God, Justin, you make a hell of a good point. Whining is not allowed in an iconic movie. Yeah, Amen and like whining, that. whining doesn't mean that you're evil. It just means that you're a little bitch. Yeah, like come on, really? You're supposed to be badass. This is not making you badass. <laughs> No, like, and I'm sorry, like, Anakin's fall to the dark side should have been tragic, and it it should have been as tragic as it was inevitable, and there's yeah. none of that in episode three at all. Like, there's nothing tragic about his fall to the dark side. There's no, there's no urgency yeah. to it. He's just an idiot, yeah. and he's a freaking whiner, and he's just, like, he's he's a selfish little baby. I'm like, no, like, this is not... That's not how it happens. It's mm. tragic, and it's the yeah. dark side that corrupts him that makes him more evil. It's not because he's already evil. It's stupid. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, well, I guess on that note, that's a good point to kind of stop the episode here. Um, on our very first Facebook Live one, I know it's probably weird for you because Ryan can't see my face, so he's just talking into audio. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to my own face. Yeah. <laughs> I have a conversation with myself. Um, yeah, you, you and McGregor was the best thing to the prequels as far as casting. True. No, Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, come on. Yeah, Sam Jackson. Come on. <laughs> and Can't then you and McGregor, yeah. yes. <laughs> but, um, and then yeah. you and McGregor. <laughs> Before we babble on for too long, it's definitely a good point to stop it. You know, I want to thank you, say thank you to everyone that has joined in on the conversation. Uh, this is going to be a weekly thing now since I was able to get it to work. I'm going to make it, the picture a lot better so it fits out, you know, whatever I can do to make it fit, you know, even better on the screen so there's not black lines and all that stuff. That's what she said. Make it fit even better. <laughs> uh of course you know thank you know we've got right now we've got kurt and justin we had ricky earlier we had chris we had my brother you know my beautiful amazing girlfriend allison a couple brownie points there because i know she listens to these afterwards even (laughs) um 
Did I say Chris? I think I said everyone. Like, you got Chris and Justin yeah. and your brother, Kurt. Everyone else uh, that chimed Rick. in. Ricky, yeah. Ricky, yeah. So, yeah, everyone that uh, that chatted with us today, you know, joined in on the conversation, yes, please join in with us every week. We will definitely be uh, doing this and having some fun if you've got questions or anything. Uh, of course, with everything, like I say, this is going to be on YouTube too. So if you're watching on YouTube or if you're on Facebook, you know, hit those likes, the follows, all that goodness, everything that's there. Uh you know, Facebook Live here for anyone that's watch, been watching or watching it. Uh, go follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and also, of course, my Facebook page, all under Nerdology5280. We have Ryan, who is Mr. Ryan Talks Nerdy on Twitter. I think it's the same on Instagram. Is yeah, it? it's just uh, at Ryan Talks Nerdy, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, MySpace. Yes, MySpace. He has a fucking MySpace. Yes. It's coming back. We're still, uh, you know. <laughs> it's coming back. Things always cycle around. <laughs> um, we can actually, uh, we're going to end this up, Kurt, and anyone that's still tuned in, we can talk a little bit more while we work on the stuff on the side uh, for the actual recordings and whatnot for um, YouTube and all that stuff. So... <laughs> so let's finish it up so we can close out the audio version for it but um okay. yeah please go check out all that stuff as for upcoming podcasts this weekend uh a busy weekend friday night we've got omd and i we're going to be doing um our blow on this podcast so episode two talking about gaming and all the gaming goodness doing it's going to be our pre e3 talk so we are going to be diving into everything e3 that we have for predictions and what's going to be talked about, what's going on and all that stuff. Um, then the following day, of course, is free comic book day. Uh, Ryan and I, and also I think OMD is going to be joining in on uh, getting some uh, badass comic pickups. And right. what? Yeah. yeah. I'm excited for that day. Buy some good stuff because they have all kinds of good sales. All C's 30th anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, tune in that day. I'm going to probably do a vlog for the day and then we will have a live, maybe live podcast. I'll see if I can get it going live on uh, Facebook here um, where we will be discussing what we got. And also we are going to dive into the topic of comics and what would happen if they went away, basically? Like, if they got rid of comics? How would the, can, you know, is the industry really worth it? Is it not? You know, and all that stuff. So, um, <laughs> uh, yes, go through all those for your old comics stuck in the closet for a podcast. Um, but yeah, so so yeah, tune into that this weekend. Next week we are doing our Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two review, and the following week is it our Wonder Woman preview? No. What's the following week? I can't even remember. No. I think we're doing yeah, we're doing something in between. Is it something in between that and the Wonder Woman preview? I think. Um, oh, we don't even have anything scheduled yet. So. Oh. So, yeah. A free for all. We will figure that one out. Because, yeah, then we'll do the Wonder Woman preview. And then after that, we have our DCCW one. So. Nice. Yeah. So, so yeah, tune into all that goodness. Uh, yes, Alien Covenant can definitely, uh, yeah, we can talk about that. Uh, if you're on the Facebook stream, please stay tuned for a second. We're going to be just signing off on the audio stream for every audio podcast. So. <laughs> Fucking Kurt. Uh, you see the chat there, Ryan? <sighs> no, I have a close right now. Um, so yeah, as always, though, please don't forget to unleash your inner nerd, and we will uh, either see you next podcast or you'll hear from us. Peace.